If you're using telemarketing to generate sales leads, you want your team to perform, right? But are they delivering the number of leads you need to oil the wheels of growth? If not, what's happening or not happening that's creating results that are off target? Of course, it's essential to have telemarketers that are willing to get on the phone, that have energy and motivation and know how to have a proper conversation with a prospect. And they need to make enough calls each day to give themselves a chance of success. In addition to these basics, in this video, we'll explore some of the key inputs to help you get the most from your telemarketing team. The first thing is systems. Telemarketing relies on a system that's built with outbound calling in mind. Whatever you use needs to speed up calls and allow callers to get key information quickly. It must be easy to navigate, all the relevant tabs and information in the right place, and ideally on one page. A good telemarketing CRM can make a huge difference to productivity, so it's an investment worth making. The second point is data. It's impossible to keep B2B data clean unless you deploy constant data validation. Poor data is the single most damaging element in failing telemarketing lead generation. You can make several calls to a company to reach John Smith only to find out it isn't him that deals with your area of interest. It's important to recognize that if you want your team to deliver results fast, as a minimum requirement, you need to provide them with clean data and that means right numbers and the right people to call with whom you'd like to do business. Briefing is also important. Outbound callers need clear and comprehensive briefings. Why would a prospect use your business versus a competitor? What challenges do prospects have that you can resolve? And what objections might callers run into during the calls? These are just a few of the crucial briefing points you should provide in advance of calling. Ultimately, the better prepared the callers are, the more traction they'll achieve. Environment's also important. Make sure your callers are comfortable. They need space to spread out. Get them a headset and a comfy chair. Make sure they have a widescreen monitor. It may sound simple and what you do for everyone, but sitting at a desk all day bashing out calls is a thankless task. So be sure that you provide the tools they need to do a good job. It's also about motivation. Along with the tools to do the job comes motivation. It's a slog at times, therefore, incentivization, motivation play a role. That doesn't only mean money though. Positive feedback is essential. A vote of thanks for a good appointment or an order goes down really well. Donuts for a particularly good week. And of course, you can't forget the commission on achievement as long as it's attainable. It's worth mentioning training too. And training takes two parts. First, has your team got the requisite skills and techniques to do the job? If you're unsure, put them on a skills training course. Not all telemarketing is intuitive. It isn't just about the art of talking. Listening, questioning and rapport building are essential skills that can be taught. And it's also about identifying the typical objections and blocks they might face on the call. So plan for those and work out the most effective responses so your team achieves better outcomes. Benchmarking is also useful. Having targets is essential, but we also need to know that they're realistic. Therefore, having a benchmark is important, especially if they're proven. You can benchmark over time once you've called through sufficient data to assess the list quality, the responses and so on. And if you've got several callers, you can benchmark them against each other. There's nothing like a bit of competition to push up performance. Callers also need variety. Telemarketing can be monotonous, so try to provide variety if at all possible. Could callers change emphasis every so often? Are there different messages they could use? Could they call into a different sector or decision maker role with a different approach? Whilst getting familiar with the pitch helps familiarity, it also reduces the chance of sounding overscripted. It can sap energy over time, so try to freshen things up every so often to prevent your callers from feeling like they're heading down a blind alley. It's also worth mentioning here other marketing support. A cold call is essentially cold. Could that be helped by other marketing to warm up the lead? Do you do events after which they could make calls to leads 
from the event? Are you using email campaigns where telemarketers could call people that open the email or click through? Do you run webinars after which the team might follow up the leads? Ideally, telemarketing shouldn't be carried out in isolation. The more support you provide to warm up the leads and preferably stimulate inbound leads that are easier to close, the better. Ultimately, if you provide the support your callers need, you will see much better marketing results.